Today I want to share our weekend in Copenhagen with you guys. As you might know, I went there last weekend with my husband. We lived at the Cabin Metro Hotel, which is a 15 minute metro drive away from the city center, which was all right. The hotel is nothing to brag about, but just super affordable and great for the price. So we arrived Thursday evening and stayed there until Sunday at noon. On Friday morning we took the metro to the city center to have some nice breakfast before exploring the city. We went to a place called Fastrang, which is really popular and it is located in between the city center with all the shops and Nyhavn, which was where we were heading afterwards, so it was a good place to start the day. After eating breakfast we took a long walk through Nyhavn and along Lange Linje. Then we took the walk back to Paper Island to have a late lunch at Copenhagen Street Food. You could also go to Christiania or take the walk downtown to see Ornaton as well. So really there's a ton of cultural stuff to see in this area. You should definitely walk or maybe rent a bike because you'll be able to experience so many nice places of the city in this way. We went to Copenhagen in the middle of November and many of the Christmas markets and decorations had already been put out on the streets, which just made the trip so much more cozy. Nyhavn is definitely a must-see if you go to Copenhagen. It's just so Danish, the restaurants are super cozy and the multicolored houses along the water are just so cute. Continuing through Nyhavn, we took a walk in the Royal Garden, followed by a short visit to the castle Amalienborg, where the Danish royalties live. We then moved on to see The Little Mermaid, which is probably one of the most popular tourist spots in Copenhagen. And then we went back towards the city center through the Churchill Park. If you want to live right in the city center at a sustainable hotel, you should check out Gullsmeden Hotels. I'll leave a link down below for their website, so just a small tip from me to you. I really want to try their hotels myself. Time was up for a bite to eat, so we headed back to Paper Island to go check out the street food market. If you want to explore some art, you could go to the Copenhagen Contemporary, which is just next to the street food market. There were a lot of people at the street food market, so I recommend you to go there on maybe an odd time of the day. Maybe avoid the weekend too if you can, so you'll be able to find somewhere to sit. Basically, you pick out something to eat. I had falafels and my husband had a burger, and then you can sit anywhere. It was so nice and the atmosphere in there is really cozy.
After that we continued to the shopping area Stroil. We had a cup of coffee at Café Noren and shared the best piece of cheesecake. We then ended this perfect day with sore feet at bar 25 before heading back to the hotel and get some rest. On Saturday morning we headed to the west side of Copenhagen where there's also a lot to explore like for example the organic bulk shop Luis. There's Tivoli, there's the meatpacking district where we ended up eating burgers at a place called Cox and Cows and it was so good. Seriously, my husband says it's the best burger he's ever had. We started the day with a late breakfast at Huys with my brother and his girlfriend who both live in the city. This cafe was again just pure hygge and you'll find that many of the cafes and restaurants around the city have this atmosphere. I had the most delicious porridge with fruit and caramel topping and the others had a classic brunch plate. Of course, there are a lot more things to explore. I don't even live in Copenhagen, so I don't even know all the places there are. But here's something to get you started if you've never been in Copenhagen. We had the best weekend and I can't wait to go back rather sooner than later. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.